All right, guys, Eric here today with a little different style video than we normally do. We're not out on the driving range hitting full swing shots. We're on the putting green, and this is a video I've been so excited to do for a long time. So you guys may know a little bit of my putting struggles for the past 20 years. We're going to go through them today. And something I've been looking forward to trying with the man himself to my left, Mr. Sam Hahn. Thank you for coming out. CEO of LAB Lab Golf. Thank you for coming out here today. Eric, thanks so much for having me, man. And thank you for being so brave. Yeah. Willing to try a broomstick putting. <laughs> I'm ready, man. So, you know, we've done a couple of on-course videos on our channel uh, last year where I, I putted. It was like part of my hot streak of putting small sample size, but generally speaking, you know, as we talked a little bit on the phone, I've been really struggling with my putting since I started playing. I generally hit the ball pretty good. Right. I've got a lot of birdie looks. I don't make as many as I perceive that should go in. Right. And then I start to miss um, specifically short ones. And of course, if you guys have seen, you know, I started to see you, Sam, um, and see Lab Golf with Adam Scott. Right. It's kind of the first guy that I saw. Um, obviously, Lucas Glover, you guys saw this year, was unbelievable. How cool is that, huh? It's unreal. Unreal. So I saw him. I saw Charles Howe with the link. You know, I'm seeing guys that I can relate to that I'm like, okay, these are good ball strikers. Right. Maybe they haven't had great putting performance. Right. They switch what they're using, and seemingly from the outside, all of a sudden, you know, these guys are putting well. They're exactly. winning tournaments. One thing that we're noticing about guys who find success with the broom are guys um, who have some pretty good skills with all stroke sports. So mm -hmm. I was asking you earlier if you're any good at pool, darts, um, things that just involve a little touch and some soft hands, and you yeah. said yes. Yeah. So, but yet you struggle to make a four-foot putt sometimes. No doubt. Torque's the reason. In my mind, torque is the reason, or a two-part thing. Torque is one of the big reasons. The other thing is the fact that you're using both hands. So when you're making, mm -hmm. you know, if you try to throw a dart with two hands, you're going to struggle. A little chaotic. <laughs> if yeah. you try to throw and shoot a free throw with two hands, you're going to struggle. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, I haven't thought Everything about that Everything that we before. do that's precise, we do with one hand. Yes. Broomsticking is effectively a one-handed motion. And that's why I think that a lot of guys are finding a lot of success with it. Um, away from their conventional putters because now this is ball rolling. This is bowling. Yeah. It's not putting anymore. That's never, never thought about that before where I'm like, anything eye hand coordination, I'm usually very good at. Right. With the exception of this, and it is two hands versus one hand. Yeah, they fight. Very interesting. They fight. So, they don't get along as well as you'd like them to get along. Nah, for me, never on the greens. All right, Sam. So I got this bad boy out of the box. Um, let's talk through where to start. Yeah. Right, so I got this, how to start. Maybe let's start with like the grip and the setup pieces. You got it. So we're gonna start with the left hand. Um, I, again, no rules. There is no curriculum. There are no fundamentals. We're making this up as we go. Yeah. Um, here's what I've seen that uh -huh. works and doesn't work. Um, most, the vast majority of, of effective broomstickers that I've seen do have their thumb on the end cap. Thumb they on put their top thumb right up on top there. And then I notice a pretty light grip pressure on those bottom three fingers. Light on the bottom three, okay. Yeah, and that's so that, so that the handle, the, the top of it can swing, you know, pretty freely. Love that. Because we're not going to move the top of the handle, at least not intentionally, right? So from there, now we got to figure out what we're going to do with the right hand. There is a million different ways to put your right hand on it. A good place to start would be to stand straight up and just kind of see how your right hand wants to hang. Mm -hmm. As I look at your right hand right now, palm's kind of 45 degrees from your body there. It's not this way. It's not this way, it's kind of right in between. Yep. So let's get that left hand on top, let's get you bent over. And with the hand hanging naturally, let's just move it right into the putter. Yeah, and then what are we doing with the fingers is kind of the next question. Some people like to wrap the index finger around. We saw you earlier going with what we're now calling the cigar. The old cigar um, grip, yeah. <laughs> we've got you know, some versions of the saw, um, you know, where it's kind of more like that. Um, we've got even some people that like to put the, the grip in between the, the, these two fingers here. So for your, yeah, in that way for you, because of where you like your palm, that's probably not going to be great, but that's okay. certainly a reasonable alternative there. So one of these is going to work best. And what I mean by work best is, is that one of those is going to make it easy for you to draw the putter head back on plane without a fight. Mm. That's what we're looking to do here. Because with broomstick, if you get the thing started back properly, it's pretty hard to screw it up from there. Yeah. The idea is that it's so heavy, that the depth of arc is so shallow, that as long as we get the thing started in the right direction, it's gonna come back on, on, on that same plane. Yeah. So, so what I do is I get people in there, I get them all set up, and then from there we're gonna mess around with the right hand position, right elbow position, different hands, and we're just gonna test which of them allows the putter head to come back off the ball nice and square and nice and smooth. 
So like this feels pretty, and now we, we kind of mess around. I, I like this with my with the yeah. fingers here. And my arm's kind of um, like halfway in between, like a 45. Yeah. So this, yeah, that doesn't feel right to me. I, I don't. I don't love it tucked. I'm kind of in this this 45 love it. range. Let's see what happens. And then what about with the lead arm, Sam? So we're trying to support the top of the shaft. We can't anchor the, the, the putter anymore, right? Yeah. So the, the left hand is sort of serving as a faux anchor. We don't want it to move very much. We're trying to keep the axis point of the shaft. Um, you know, ideally this doesn't move barely at all. If you move your shoulders, it's gonna move a little bit, but very little. So we want the, the left elbow in a place, again, that's comfortable, repeatable, where it's there to support the bottom side. Mm. So, you know, out here, like for me, when I get my elbow going straight at the target, that creates a lot of tension. For me, I like to feel like this is nice and relaxed so that um, sort of the focus in the, is, in the, is in the top, you know, the thumb and the forefinger here, um, where I'm just kind of holding it steady. This position for me allows me to keep my left hand steady. For some reason for here, for me, it's harder to keep it steady. Yeah. So again, we're gonna back into the goal. The goal is to keep the left hand steady so wherever you want to put your elbow to make that happen, that. that's where it ought to be. I like that. I like that. I like that order of doing things. What right. makes the end goal the easiest to accomplish? Back into it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Now, what about from setup? So, you know, I'm assuming with the ball position and like we don't want to be anywhere crazy. Is there some general ideas of like where the club and the ball start? Yeah, we're going with uh, as, as neutral as possible. So we want the end cap pointed just about your sternum or the plaque of your shirt. If anything, slightly ahead, never behind. Okay. And then we want the shaft basically dead vertical. So, that, so if it's on your, the plaque of your shirt, that means that the ball, or, or that the tip of the shaft, not the ball, is going to be right in the middle of your stance, which brings the ball mm. a couple inches forward. Because yep. we've got a, an onset head, plus the, the width of the ball itself, it's gonna move it all a bit more forward than center. And is that just forward of center ideal in terms of like the arc and my low point of my stroke? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. So Absolutely. I get the good, good roll on the ball. Yep. Um, so ball position, lead hands on, see where the lead arm feels, and the right hand, and kind of the right hand, the right arm, like you had mentioned before, which I love, if I can get set up well, and then what technique or what am I doing makes it easiest to get the club started back correctly, and then I just let the putter go. Totally. Yeah, so you're, I mean, so you're reverse look, engineering. We're gonna have to give it a little you know, energy, um, yeah, you know, yeah. a, a push forward. It's not fully lift and drop, right. but that's the feel. That's kind of what we're going for. Rough. I mean, that's what, you know, that's what unlocked it for you. That's what I've seen it unlock for a lot of people is, is that trusting that this thing's kind of so big and heavy and the, the shaft angle so vertical that, yeah, we, we, we get with this technique, we get closer to that cliche pendulum putting, you right. know, that we've been, you know, taught since we were kids. Um, this is actually as close as it gets to real pendulum. With this thing relatively on the sternum and then this just going back and through. Totally. And then Sam, last thing with the with the distance away. Yeah. I actually haven't thought about that once. I'm just sort of putting the putter flat with the Y angle and then going from there, right? There That's okay. exactly how we do it. We start with the putter flush. We don't want the toe up. We don't want the heel up. If the heel comes up a little bit, I don't mind it. I don't love seeing the toe up. Um, and then, yeah, we build our stance around the putter from there. So the first thing you're going to do in what you see all the broomstick guys do, they place the putter down with their right hand generally, aim it, get it all flush, and then they're going to build their stance around that. Perfect. And then I like, I, I've seen the little... Oh, Lucas is moving so <laughs> yeah. slick. He's just a like, little I mean, arm relax. Basically like, bring it in, boom. <laughs> yeah. It, it does look cool. Hilarious. So quick recap for myself here. Left hand, left thumb is on top. These fingers um, are pretty loose here. I'm gonna let my right hand hang. I'm gonna bring that in with my cigar. For me, I feel the left arm's a little in, right arm is a little bit in. Shaft is basically straight up and down. Uh -huh. Get it started, get it set correctly, get it started correctly, and then let it go. That's it. Okay, so you're going with the cigar. It looks like we've got the palm the about, you know, 45 degrees from target there. Elbows kind of matching that up. You folks at home, there's, there's a million different ways to do this and you will feel it instantly. You will feel one of, one of the ways that you grab the putter and hold it is going to make it easier for that thing to come back on plane. I don't care about square. The face is going to take care of itself. I want it on plane. Mm. Go ahead and set up. Yeah. This is what I mean. I want that shaft traveling on this plane. And you will find, like you, and you saw my, my, my putting board video, yeah, great with that video. device. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, and one of, one of the ways that I like to use that board is to back into how you should be holding it. So the, so the board's telling you whether or not you're on plane instantly. Yes. And then with that board right there, grip it like this. 
Grip it like this. Grip it somewhere in between. Grip it with the in between the fingers. Do all the things, and one of those methods is going to line up with your particular biomechanics and how your shoulder connects to your elbow, connects to your wrist, connects to your hand, right. and it's going to feel easy. Yeah. There's one way, there's probably not just one, there's a few ways that are going to make it a little bit easier to keep that shaft on plane. That's how we're going to back into how you should be holding it with your right hand. I like that. It's very important to know there isn't a right way. I, to be honest, all these, all these styles so far feel good and easy. Like yeah. I could see myself, I could see myself playing around with like different. Yeah, full on saw yeah. and everything, yeah. Because all of it feels like I just have to get the putter, I just kind of get it started back and then i and then yeah. there's nothing that's almost. the backstroke is it and that's why that's where the intention around you know finding your spot here where it just comes back easy yeah. without any kind of fight that's why that's so important because oh, the through stroke is like nothing yeah so some, some like of once those you, clips once you start are. it like you can't i mean and, that, and that's where like aim is huge with brooms because you can't manipulate this thing like once it starts down like this you, is it you, you have you have no you can't control it it's out of your hands yeah it does it's like it's like I get it started and then I just psh, let it gravity. Yeah. Get it started back and psh, let it go. Eric, these look really good, man. Thank you. Really good. Thank these you. Really they good. feel good. I feel like I'm getting some confidence going here early. All right, guys, sorry to interrupt this video, but since we filmed this, I've since taken one of these in particular out on the golf course and literally putted the best that I have in my entire life. Now, as I've said, like I haven't been putting well for 20 years, so the bar wasn't super high, but I've been seeing the ball go in the hole for the first time in a long time. I'm freaking confident on the greens for the first time in a long time. The game's a lot more fun, and I didn't change anything. I haven't been practicing more. I didn't change my stroke. I literally just changed putters. That is so exciting for me. We're going to partner with Lab Golf and Sam as a thank you to them, and hopefully to get you one of these in your bag as well, maybe for a holiday, Christmas gift, uh, something along those lines. It's an investment, right? They're not cheap, but with the 10% off code and with how long I think you're going to use these, I think the value is really high. I'm sure you spend a lot of money on drivers and things like that are expensive too. Um, but I'm going to plan on using these for the next like 10 years. So when you do the math that way, I think it's a freaking steal. Uh, again, I won't spoil which one I use. We'll, we'll show you that in some future videos. But if you want a holiday gift for yourself or a loved one and you want to putt better and you're looking for a putter, I've never used a putter that's this good ever in my life. And I know that you're going to love it as well. Lab Golf will be in the description down below. Use code Kagorno, get 10% off. I hope that you'll try one and that you'll be as exciting about your putting and your game as I am about mine. We did a, so we actually got this for me with an online fitting. Yeah. Right. And so something cool for you guys too. Um, Cause that to me is, a, is kind of unique and cool. Like I didn't have to go travel anywhere to get this. I, from the comfort of my own home, we filmed a cell phone video. I think I just had like a little wall door jam in the back. I hit a couple putts um, or did a couple motions and that was it. Yeah. You know, our big thing, we do a lot of online coaching. Yeah. I want like ease, comfort, simple, you know? It's the future, man. And that's cool. I mean, the fact that, the fact that I could get that to me, that was very, very, very simple process. We'll put something on there for that as well. And the other thing, at one point I want to make with this, with the putting, you know, I've never gone and spent and invested on a putter, right? Right. Very, a lot of people will come in and they invest on a driver, wood, this, that, the next thing. Sometimes there's improvement, sometimes they're not, but I think there's a lot of willingness to do that. I look at this for me as something that I'm going to practice and get good at. It's like, this thing's going to be in my bag for a long time. Totally. So I, I value this me in particular, probably more than any other club in my bag. Sure. And so uh, for me, when you go through and you guys build a putter that you want and like, think about the amount of putts that you've missed before. Like me, I'm bringing back that emotional, just disgust that I have. And if there's a real solution for me to have something that could make my life a lot easier, I want to invest in that. And I want to have something that I can use for a long time. And I feel like with a little bit of practice with this, even already, like if I had my normal putter, I'm not making that amount of putts. Thank you for doing that, man. I think this is, this is really going to help me in my game. So I appreciate you putting the energy. Thank you for trying it. I mean, this yeah. is, um, Lucas definitely helped make it a little bit cooler. Um, but it's, this is still a thing, you know, you're going to get some comments when you pull this thing out. Thank you for being passionate enough about wanting to improve that you're giving this a try and you will. Likewise. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, dude. Get it. So guys, uh, we're, you're going to see some more stuff. I'm going to do a lot more of this. A, I'm going to practice. We'll document my journey a little bit of, uh, maybe we'll put a highlight reel of all those three footers together. That'll be tough to watch. And then I'm going to practice this and report back genuinely what my experience is. You know, we appreciate Sam coming down. I wanted to wait till he came so we could go through some of those 
um, and kind of show you my process of improving, but also to give you access to stuff like this and let you know you, know, you have this available to you. So we'll put all that down below, Sam. We'll put the links in the descriptions down below to go check this out. We'll also put the info of what the putter that I have, this, um, the specifics of what this putter is that I got. Obviously, yeah. you want to get fit for it, um, but we'll put that, that all down below. And Sam, appreciate it, dude. Awesome. That was great. Awesome. Thank you.